Welcome back, folks, to the random video blog where I, Graham G.S. and Matthews, run down my rambling thoughts in the wrestling world, share a few stories, etc., etc. Uh, before we get started here, quick news note that going forward, it looks like we'll be doing WrestleRant Radio on Fridays as opposed to on Thursdays. Um, and I say we because I'll be joined by my buddy Tommy Sharp, who I've been doing WWE C Radio with for the longest time since the start of the year. He'll be joining me on Fridays. It just works out a lot easier that way, so I'm not doing two radio shows a week on Thursdays and Fridays. So we'll be doing those on Fridays afternoon, Friday afternoons, and the excerpts of WrestleRant Radio will be up shortly thereafter on the YouTube channel on Fridays. So with those excerpts moving to Fridays, and they've kind of already been on Fridays anyway, because sometimes I'll record the show on Thursday and I can't put up the excerpts till Fridays. So it's better just for right now until I completely overhaul the entire YouTube schedule, which will be done at the onset of 2017. Um, I'll just be moving the WrestleRant radio excerpts to Fridays, and I'll be doing the random video blogs on Thursday. So you'll be getting these uh, a day earlier as opposed to usual. And it actually kind of works out pretty perfectly this week. And I, I did not want to wait any longer until Friday to talk about this. News broke yesterday, or not really news, but it's more of a rumor at this point. We, we, we've been hearing the same rumor for the past two or so weeks at this point. So just take it for what it's worth. Take it as a grain of salt. We'll, we'll find out if it's official or not in the days to come that TNA has sold its library to the WWE and that Billy Corrigan might be taking full ownership of the company sooner rather than later, which I really hope is true. Um, I don't spend, I was going to say I don't spend a lot of time talking about TNA here in the video blog, and that is true, but I did run down my top five favorite Bound for Glory matches, or top seven, top five, I think it was top five, Bound for Glory matches last year on the video blog before Bound for Glory on Sunday, which was pretty good. It was a good show, I will say that. But um, yeah, it looks like WWE might be buying the library after all. Now, now, as I said, take it with a grain of salt just because I've been reading the same report for the past week or so now. And yesterday someone else reported it, but it's not official. I'll believe it when I see it. But if true, if true, I think this is a win-win for pretty much everybody. Because WWE buying the library does not necessarily mean that TNA has to go out of business. That is not the case whatsoever. I think it's just the more of the case of WWE getting more content for their network, which I think is amazing, and I'll talk about that more in a second. But even more so, that TNA stays afloat. And I do not want WWE to buy TNA, the whole corporation, the whole organization, just because they would not keep it alive. They have no reason to keep it alive. I would not want to see them keep it alive. They would lose money on keeping TNA alive if they bought TNA. That being said, I just think it's a lot easier to uh, have Billy Corgan take full ownership, a guy who you probably know is going to take good control of TNA going forward. It's going to be in good hands. Just because Dixie Carter has run that company into the ground, especially in recent years. And it's time for a massive overhaul. And not just a change of the letters, not just a change of the TNA name, which is desperately needed, but a change in management. And that is desperately what is needed in TNA. And I think Billy Corgan can accomplish that. He has a lot of great ideas in mind. He's already incorporated a lot of good ideas. Maybe the Impact Grand Championship not being one of them. That's just my idea. That's just my two cents. But um, I think Billy Corgan has been a plus for TNA on the whole. Maybe not on air. I do not like his on air character. But behind the scenes, he's been a big proponent of, uh, of several people. The product overall this year has been really, really good. Ever since he became a director of creative, head of creative, whatever. Uh, the product overall has been really good. And I think Dixie Carter, she can win. She wins out of this too. She gets a massive payday from the WWE, and she gets a massive payday from Billy Corgan. So I really hope that's true because I think it's a win-win for pretty much everybody. Um, not only is TNA getting the proper management that it deserves, but with WWE taking the library, oh man, you know how many hours of TNA wrestling that I would watch on the network. I don't think the subscription numbers are going to run through the roof. So I don't want to hear in a couple months that if this is true and we see TNA stuff pop up in the network tomorrow, that I don't want people seeing, I don't want, I don't want to see people saying that, oh, why didn't subscription numbers go up, blah, blah, blah. The numbers aren't going to go up that much. It's just extra content for the network. I'm sure some TNA fans, if they don't have the WWE network, they will. They see the entire library. All they ever see in those TNA YouTube comments is uh, when we're going to see the Asylum days, when are we going to see this or that from 2002 or 2003? Well, you can see it on the WWE Network, and I really hope they do that. Um, there's a lot of matches I would love to watch. I've recently bought AJ Styles' four-disc, phenomenal disc uh, DVD set from TNA that chronicles his best matches with the company. And it's a really, really good DVD set. I mean, obviously, AJ had a number, more than a number, of amazing matches in that company. 
But I want to see more than just that, more than just AJ Styles. A lot of beer money matches, t-shirt reference, you know, uh, Samoa Joe, Kurt Angle, Jeff Hardy, maybe not necessarily Victory Road 2011, which I'm sure would be on the network. Someone asked me yesterday if they would edit that out. I mean, it's not that bad. It's embarrassing for TNA, one of the worst moments in company history, but it has nothing to do with WWE. I don't know why they would edit that out. Um, and it's not like there's any nudity or any swearing or anything, and it's not anything vulgar. It's just embarrassing. So I don't know why they would edit that out. But uh, you can relive all that stuff in infamy on the WWE Network if they buy the library. So again, I think I really hope it's true, and I think it's a really big positive for both WWE, TNA, for Billy Corgan, for Dexter Carter, for pretty much everybody. Um, but yeah, the biggest positive coming out of this, like I said, is you, you really do not know how much I would love to see the TNA stuff on the WWE Network. And you can bet your ass that those TNA pay-per-views are on the network in the near future. Or at least at any point, but specifically in the near future, you can be sure that I'll be reviewing TNA pay-per-views on a wrestle rant and going forward. I've got that question before: Why I don't you know review the TNA pay-per-views? Because there's nowhere to watch them, and I'm not going to watch them on some crappy bootleg site because the stream always sucks. And I've tried that before. And I'm not talking about the live pay-per-views. I'm talking about the archive shit. There are some pay-per-views available here and there, but a lot of like the links have been deleted. They're just not really as available. There's far less content for TNA on YouTube, on the internet, than there is WWE. You might be able to find WWE pay-per-views, or even before the network, you might be able to find full-length WWE pay-per-views online. But TNA is far from the case, because people just don't care enough about TNA to post their pay-per-views. So, that being said, uh, if that did become an option, where they had every TNA pay-per-view ever on the WWE network, I would absolutely review every single one of those shows for you guys on WrestleRant, that would be amazing. So, we are actually kind of running out of content for WrestleRant, uh, just for the near future. Someone did ask me yesterday, this is a side note for the random video blog, but uh, going forward, as you probably saw on Wednesday, or Tuesday rather, I'll be reviewing Armageddon going forward, and then beyond that, I will be talking about uh, the In Your House pay-per-views, or no, a few other miscellaneous shows at the end of the year. There will be another announcement regarding that stuff in a few weeks, so just stay tuned for that. Um, but I would definitely review the TNA content if it was available on the WWE Network. So again, fingers crossed that the rumor is true. I'm not going to believe anything 100% until I see it happen. Until I see TNA put something out about it. Until I see WWE put something out about it. I just really hope this is not smoke and mirrors. And this is really, you know, th th this is really what they are saying it is. That WWE has bought the library and that Billy Corgan is now full owner of TNA, because I think that could be a positive for pretty much everybody involved, so look forward to seeing that play out, once again guys, you can check out the random video blog right here on the channel every th every single Thursday, you can like, comment, share, and subscribe, I appreciate your support, you guys are great, uh, be sure to stay tuned for the WrestleRant Radio excerpts tomorrow here on the channel, so in the meantime, and in between time, as always guys, be well, stay safe, have an amazing weekend, I'm Graham Gioso Matthews, Fingers crossed once again that the rumor is true that we find out more in the coming week. And I'll catch you guys down the road.